When somebody blood leaking in the gutter, what mama screaming, bro? What mama screaming? Right. You seen you seen that Putin interview? Oh, he showed all the old images. I'm talking about from thousands of years ago. All black. This is this wasn't around. This wasn't around. This is a new thing in the earth. Watch this. Revelation chapter 12. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that. Like I asked you this, right? Who is this right here? You say they say Jesus, what you got on your chain? Let me see it. Let me check you out. Huh? The mighty Christ on your chest? Let's find out. Let's find out if that's the mighty Christ. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 14. And I just want to give you a premise. The reason I'm going to Revelation chapter 13 is the last book of the Bible. All right? A lot of people are going to contest this with the y'all only stick to the Old Testament, right? Not realizing the Old Testament is what established the New Testament. That's right. You understand? So we're going to start in Revelation. Then I'm going to back up everything I say from here. All right? Watch this. Verse 14. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. So the image to the beast that was made, right? And newly made, newly made was this image. That's a man by the name of uh, uh, Caesar Borgia. He was Pope Alexander the sixth son. That's who this was. All right, during the Renaissance, 1400s, maybe was it 1470, they made or created this image. All right, Michael, you know, familiar with Michael, Michelangelo? Leonardo da Vinci? They were commissioned to paint images of a new Christ. That old guy on the cross and all that stuff, that's new. God said don't do none of that. Where did God say worship how he was killed? Where did he say that? Where, where in there say that? Don't. It don't. So this is the new image that's being worshipped. So when Putin, we asked you about Putin early on when you came up here, right? Putin showed images older than this image. Right. Before this image. And they were all black men. Yes, like us. right. All of them. All of them. Watch this. That they should make an image to the beast, uh -huh. which had the wound by a sword and did live. Uh -huh. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So now you got to think a little bit. How does something, or how is power to give life unto something? What is, what, how is that accomplished in the world today? Let's think about it. How about passion of the Christ? How about you create an image, right? And it's just an image. It's just an idol. And then you, 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 you do something, you create some miracle called television or motion picture, right? And then you create a movie with the motion picture science, right? And then now Jesus is talking to you and he looked like this and he made you cry. And you felt bad in your heart. Oh, they killed my Jesus. <laughs> but it was all a lie. It was all sorcery. It was all witchcraft. All witchcraft. So the issue that we have with the, the, with the Bible has with the image on your, on your cross, that's not black Christ. That's not the Jesus that came for you. That's not the real Jesus. Finish that and then let's get to Revelation 1 and 14. I'm going to show you. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He's talking about who got power to give life unto the uh, beast. Who created movies? Who created motion pictures? Who, who, who was given authority over the whole earth? Who? What man? I'm a man, you a man. What, no? Well, Jesus is a black man. But this is talking about a lie, right? Go to uh, Job 9.24, bro. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to help you out. What's your name, bro? Jerry? Jerry? I'm Yawana. Or Yawana. That's me. Right? Watch this. I'm going to show you something. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked.
Matthew chapter 1. I'm going to show you this real quick. We're going to give you some identity. All right? That image, that image right there, that's idolatry. Watch this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. No. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is Gabriel speaking to Mary. Angel speaking to Mary. All right? She, she's prophesied to Mary. You're going to have a child. You're going to name that child Jesus. All right? Come on. For he shall save his people from their sins. So he shall save his people from their sins. All those are possessive words. Right? All those are possessive words. Right? He shall save his people from their sins. So he has a people. Right? Christ has a people. And he's going to save his people from their sins. Because the way of sin is what? Let's get that real fast. This is the book of Romans. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Right, so when we talk about the Bible, we talk about Christ and all those what you would believe, what to do, right? It's in hopes to get what? Eternal life, the kingdom of heaven, right? But when we sin, those wages pay us death. We're paid with death, right? You with me? You, you, you. All right, so let's go back. Chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So sin, being the wages of sin, is death. Christ came and he died on the cross for him. They got people in the streets every team. For us. My brother is tracking good. My brother tracking good. Yo. Okay. All right. So my brother is tracking good. Right. Christ is going to save us from our sins. Right. Christ came and he died on the cross for us. Now let's find out what Christ looked like. Because I might just be making it up that this ain't Christ, right? I'm going to jump the gun a little bit and tell you this is what Christ is described. We're not saying this is him, but this is how he's described in the Bible. I'm going to show you. Watch this. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven golden can I'm sorry, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right, so this is John the Revelator, as he's called, right? On the island of Patmos. And he turns around, Christ came to visit him. Christ came to visit him on the island, right? After he's died and risen and ascended to the Father. Now Christ has come back. This is about nine, was it 90 years after, no, 70 years after. Christ left and ascended, right? This is after. So now Christ is coming to visit John on the island of Patmos. John turns around because he heard Christ call him. John, he turns around. He sees this man that he's walked with. Remember, he walked with Christ for three years. John and Andrew, I think, were the first that he called. Right? Whether it was John and Andrew. Right. Those were the first two disciples that he called. So John did see Christ. He did see Christ, and he walked with Christ, so he would know what Christ looked like, right? That's right. Right. Now watch this. And gird about the path what they call it. Now he's describing Christ, not as a puff of smoke, but he's describing Christ as a having a body, as a man. Who are you got on clothes? You have on a garment right now, or garments, pants, a shirt, hat. You have on garments, right? So he's describing Christ as having the same physical attributes. Watch this. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So now I'm looking at you, right, my brother. I see white in your beard. White is a color. Wool is not a color. Churches be lying to us telling us that wool is a color. Wool is not a color. TV be lying to us telling us that sheep, because that's where wool comes from, sheep. TV be lying to us telling us that sheep's hair is, is, is stringy and curly and it's got the, the little curls like Curly Sue and they be prancing around the curls. No, 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 no. That's not sheep's wool. You've seen a sheep. That's our hair. That's this hair. That's this hair. That's sheep's wool. So read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh, so it was white in color, like you, I'm looking at my brothers here, white in color and like wool in texture. Come on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So what, you drink a little bit? 
like wine. You don't drink at all? So I'm gonna tell you about myself then. When I drink wine, when my brother drink wine, right? We drink a little bit, the whites of our eyes turn red, right? Your father drink or your grandfather drink a little bit, the whites of their eyes turn red. Remember the prophecy, well, the prophecy in Genesis chapter 49 verse 12 say that his eyes will be red with wine. These are more lies that we just don't understand. So when we hear uh, 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 Christ's eyes red with wine, we think drunk. We think, no, Christ drank wine. There's nothing wrong with that. Measurably drank. Christ ain't saved me no drunk, neither was he a drunk. But the prophecy was his eyes will be red with wine. Watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Genesis 49. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. Watch this. Genesis 49. I just want to show you the prophecy. I got to keep reminding myself. Um, you know, I got to catch my brother Jerry up a little bit on the Bible. Watch this. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 8. Right Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine. Verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So this is talking about Christ. When you read on, and we encourage you to read the entire chapter before we end, for the sake of time, we just go precept upon precept. Jump here a little bit, there a little bit, just to catch you up, right? So read it again. His eyes shall be red with wine. Christ's eyes shall be red with wine. Christ's first miracle was he turned water into wine at a wedding feast. Right. You remember that? I'm sure you've heard of it, right? Yeah, so he turned water into wine. So was he against drinking wine? No, he wasn't. He, he's not a hypocrite. Right? So he turned water into wine at the wedding feast. Watch mm. this. Read it again. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. All praise. Go back. So that's a prophecy of Christ. So now we understand when we read this. Go ahead. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So his feet but like unto fine brass. You know what color brass is? What color is brass? Yeah, like a goldish brown, right? But it says something else right after that, right? So it says his feet were like unto fine brass. What? As if they burned in a furnace. So not only were they brown, but take brown and you burn it in a furnace. What color it get? It get darker. <laughs> it get black. Right. So Christ was unmistakably not a white man. Right. You can't mistake him. He ain't no olive. Ain't no Mediterranean. No, he was black. He was blacker than you. He was blacker than him. That's what we just read in the Bible. You take you, you bronze. You take you and burn you in a furnace. What color you gonna be? Black. Blue black. So these are not mistakes that should be made if we just following what the Bible say. If we just reading what it actually says. If we're not lying to ourselves or to others, it say Christ black. Point blank. Period. Right. Point blank period. That's easy. Was that hard? That's easy. Go back to uh, 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 Job uh, 9.24. Read that again. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So guess what? Christ was the main judge, right? Main judge. And then he, he had people. He had tribesmen, right? He had people on this earth who he was related to. Guess who they are? Let's get Jeremiah. Let's get Jeremiah 14. Watch this, I'm gonna show you. I asked a question, it might be a little bit hard for you to muster up right now, brother. But Christ was a black man. You gotta get this in your bones, bro. You gotta get this in your bones. When I heard, I get goosebumps just talking about it right now. And I've been, I've been teaching this for 10 years plus. Christ, hold on, Christ was a black man? He got people. Hold on, let's do this math, watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse two. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. They are black. They are, <laughs> hold on. So Christ was black. Judah is the lead tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? It say Judah black now. Judah, Judah is black, Jerry, right? It say Judah black. Judas, hold that. Let's get uh, Hebrews chapter seven real quick. Let's try to let's math. This. Let's do this math real quick, bro. Let's do this math real quick. Now remember, we just read about Christ being black in Revelation chapter one, right? We just read about 
so whoever the earth, whoever hand the earth was given into, the wicked, right, that, that, that controls the whole planet, they didn't cover the face of the judges. They didn't, they, so they didn't cover the face of the judges. So now we don't know who Christ looked like. Now we don't know who Christ's people look like. Let's find out. Come on, watch this. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? Out of Judah. Hold on now, so wait, wait a minute. So Christ, we just proved it in the Bible. The newest of New Testament. This is Revelation, that's the last book of the Bible. It don't get no newer testament, didn't it? That's right. We just proved Christ is a black man. And Matthew chapter 1, we said, he gonna come and save his people. He got a people. He gonna save them from their sin. Now go back to Lament, I mean Jeremiah. Read that again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. So Judah, Jerry, are the people of Christ. Judah is the people of Christ. Remember it said he shall save his people from their sins? It say Judah mourneth, right? Meaning, look, look around, Jerry. Look what we go through. Look what we go through. I can see you caught some injuries in your life. Yeah, we, yeah, we go through things, Jerry. It's hard for us. Watch this. Say, read it again. Judah mourning, uh -huh. and the gates thereof language. And the gates meaning leaders. The leaders of the community, weak as hell. That's what language mean. They weak. Teach. They weak, they scared of the little boys because they got guns and they, they pop off and they ain't get, and so they weak. The leaders of our communities are weak. They won't tell, they won't check these little boys. The gates thereof languish. Come on. They are black. They what? They are black unto the ground. It says they black unto the ground. Now what that mean? Genesis 2 and 7, 2 and 27, 2 and 26, I'm sorry. Genesis chapter 2, verse 26. I'm going to show you what, black unto the ground, black unto the ground. So I'm looking at the ground. This is cement. This is Esau. The white man made this stuff here, right? But, but if we if we discover the ground, if we check out the ground, like this right here, Jerry, that, that's dirt, right? Watch this. 27, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's the dust of the ground right there, Jerry. So when we read in Judah, mourneth the gates thereof of language, they are black unto the ground. Read that again. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So now you have some kind of, when you say, yo, we the original man, now you, now you got a Bible verse for it, Jerry. You welcome, bro. You welcome. All right, but watch this. Go back to Lamentations. Read. I'm Je Jeremiah, I'm sorry. Seriously, yes, sir. You already know where to go now. Yes, sir. <laughs> the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. We Jerusalem, first and foremost. We had a land, and that land was called Jerusalem, but before there was a land, we were a people. We were a people. Our land is Jerusalem. I know you think that's for the, the, the white man over there. It's not. 100% false. That's, that's right. why anybody who sets foot on that land that's not you, they got to go to war about it. They got to go to war and they going to they gonna inherit hell trying to keep it. That's and that's right. what we've been seeing since history. Since 1948, right. when that became the state of Israel, they've been warring for it. By example, nation is family.